Welcome back with another Wireshark video for those exam slash CTF uh, questions that we often get hit with when it comes to something like Wireshark. Now, Wireshark, we've already gone through it. This is, I believe, the third video in the series. Uh, and we're going to talk about counting packets today. Now, it sounds like a pretty easy question that you may get asked. How many packets are total within the entire PCAP file? And let's be honest here. Most of us are just going to hit this little arrow right here that says go to the last packet. And right off the bat, we can see it's 2,755 for this specific packet. Easy, done, I don't have to worry about anything. However, let's be honest here, uh, we're not gonna provide that easy of a question for you in those CTFs. So let's figure out a better way to do it. On the very bottom right-hand side of your screen, you will see this little icon that says packets, 2,755. And there's displayed 2,755. But maybe it's asking you how many HTTP packets were available. And so if I just type in HTTP in the filter, I hit enter, all of a sudden we can see the total packets of 2755, displayed packets of 64. 64 would then be my correct answer if I'm looking at only the HTTP available. Now I could do that with other filters as well. If I wanted no total TCP packets, Again, I could go down there and we can see total TCP packets of 2,746. And I could do it with, I don't know, DNS, SSL. I could do it with pretty much anything. And it will tell me exactly how many packets are associated with the filter at the time of uh, pushing that little enter button. But what if I want to know how many packets were available for a specific IP address? In this context, I'm going to go to statistics. And from statistics, I can go down to IPv4 or IPv6 if I had any. In my specific lab, I don't have any. And I'm just going to hit all addresses. From there, it gives me this nice little interface that tells me exactly how many counts are associated with each IP address. So if it was asking me how many uh, packets were associated with 102, i.e. 192.168.56.102, I can literally click on that line and I can see that there were 99 packets associated with this specific IP address. I hope this was helpful. As always, we'll see you next time. My name is Dr. K.